So somewhat mixed emotions about the works we're having done here now. It's a voluntary collaboration of a number of arborists and arboricultural companies. We're uh, removing the entire live sections of the upper portion of the canopy of the tree, uh, retaining absolutely every skerrick of deadwood habitat that we can that won't, in our opinion, constitute a risk of failure either onto the construction site, which it's going to be, or onto the building that's going to be built beneath. I'll take a whole series of stills to track the progress of the work. As I say, it's mixed emotions. The tree is remaining, and the vast majority, I mean, who could put a figure on it, but the vast majority, maybe 75% of the critically valuable hollow habitat, bedwood habitat, is being retained above ground as part of the standing tree. So I do feel that this is a good outcome. It's not the best outcome, not the one I wanted, but it is a good outcome in terms of the ecology of this Kima River area. We've already found, encountered up in the bucket, two brush-tailed possums, stingless bees, lorikeets, all of the habitat retained, micro bats which move from one hollow immediately into another and we've retained that elbow shaped habitat that they were occupying. So this is the finished pruning job, veteranisation, habitat formation in this tree. No Inhabiting animals were removed during the works, none whatsoever. There's only one habitat box put up there. The only hollow habitat that was removed was 30, 40 mil in diameter, small branches. It was a great success in regards to retaining the maximum amount of valuable deadwood hollow habitat. Really. It really is a success in that regard. You can see that we've ring barked the tree in an attempt to ensure that the limbs that we've shortened don't produce epicormic growth. And there still is a substantial lower canopy which, with luck, is certainly going to form at least something approaching a full canopy. And the two trees beneath are going to remain, at least in the short term, both the fig and the campylorum. So there we are. It's the next stage in this tree's life, brought on, of course, by the desire for us to build buildings way too close to trees, but it's still retention and continuation of the habitat. Good result.